What's up everybody? This is Patrick from WP Builder Helper again. Today we have a tutorial video showing you how to use Oxygen's pop-up builder creator, which is I think called a modal uh, builder. Anyway, this is going to show you how to create pop-ups in Oxygen. We're going to go over all the details, some advantages, disadvantages, and we're going to show you an example of something that I created. You can see it on the screen now. And it's just a very simple pop-up. It's nothing too fancy, but we're going to go over how to create it. And I'm going to show you exactly what I did and what I did to make it stand out. All right, so let's get started. Alright everybody, here we go. We're back on the page that I was just on, that I was showing you before. And this is a really simple pop-up. I don't want you to get confused. This isn't anything fancy. This isn't anything that's mind-blowing. So if you're new to this or you already kind of know how to make pop-ups, go ahead and skip this video. But if you learned something from this video, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you learned and hopefully this helps you use oxygen better. So Oxygen came out with their pop-up builder quite some time ago, and it's got documentation on it, and it's fairly easy. There's nothing that's too strange about the way Oxygen works, but the pop-up builder works a little bit differently than your standard pop-up builder, so I wanted to kind of do a video on it. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to recreate this pop-up. We're going to recreate all this text, all the buttons, and everything else, and I'm going to show you how I did this and how I created it. And hopefully if you have some questions, then you can kind of take and you can you can kind of look at this and um, we can go from there. For right now, I am going to do something very simple. I'm going to copy this text because I'm 90% sure that I did not copy this text. That's my fault. But I'm going to copy this text and I'm going to add it in Notepad. So let's start off with a page. Let's go and edit in Oxygen. And I'll take you through how to actually build a pop-up using Oxygen's Builder. It's very, very simple. It's super powerful. It's also very convenient because it's included with the editor itself, something that you don't get with a lot of the um, licensing that's out there. Even with Elementor, you have to buy a pro subscription to it before you can actually get it, which of course you still have to have some kind of subscription to this too, but it's nice that all of this is kind of bundled together. I like Oxygen's pricing a little bit better than I like Elementor's pricing at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll start, we'll completely delete the modal that we already have, which is right here. And uh, I'm just going to just gonna completely delete it. And we're going to start fresh. So the start, the whole point of this is to get this start button to open up a modal. So we've deleted this modal, so we're going to start fresh by adding a new modal area which is in I believe helpers if I'm not mistaken and right here you'll see there is modal so we're gonna click modal we're gonna say live preview just so we can see it so obviously you can see here it gives you like a basically like a div that you can start designing things on so what I want to do is I want to add in some text to it. I'm, I want to add in some rows. I want to add in a bunch of things to it. So let's start with the rows. Let's go with the basics. I want two columns in it because I think it needs two columns. There I go dragging things and I shouldn't be dragging them because I'm going to put the girl on one side, the text and the button on the other side. And I'm going to add in an image for the lady who was running. So we're going to click image and it's going to add that there. We're just starting with basic stuff first. We're actually going to go in and install this a little bit later, but hopefully you can follow along. So then we're going to click this div so that we can take and we can add in the heading that we had, which was just a basic heading. And then underneath that heading, we had a button. So all of this so far should be very easy to you. If you're brand new with Oxygen, you've probably already done this before. There is nothing special about what I just did. But the next thing we want to do is we want to actually go and we want to click on this whole entire modal, which should be the columns. 
and we want to give it a background image. Now I've already uploaded my background image so you can get whatever background image you want but you want to get a background image for this and then you're going to want to tell it to depending on how the image fits I usually like cover I think cover works better but you could do it however you want to so let's add in the lady that we had before I'm gonna go ahead and find her in my media library or I'm sorry image URL let me browse she's right here as you can see and when you first put her on there you're gonna notice that she's within the div itself but we're gonna do some some little tricks some some negative margin and things like that to make her actually pop out those type of things are things that people often forget about because I guess they just don't know about them or whatever the case is but it can make your pop-up look a little bit more dynamic than it already does we're also going to turn this text color to white so we want to set that to white and we're going to give a little bit of margin to the button down below just so that it has some space so it can breathe so it doesn't look so bad all right so that's looking perfect so now we want to go to this lady and we're going to go to advanced and we're going to go to size and spacing and we're going to go into the margin and what we want to do is to the left of her we want to add in negative margin so as you can see I just added in negative margin there and it already took her out of the screen this is exactly what we want is we want her to be out of the screen she, she needs to be bigger than life when she runs on here all right, so now we've got the lady exactly where we want her. We have her size correctly. We want to add in our text that we had that was on there before. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to copy this text. And with oxygen, all you have to do is double click your text. And you can paste it, paste it into your window. So you're going to see that this text is way too big. We obviously need to uh, make it a little bit smaller so we're gonna go in and kind of play with the text until we get it to fit exactly where we want and I could use the slider if I want to just to make it fit but I didn't want to do that but that's alright it won't hurt it so we'll go to about I think 37 that way the text fits that's actually perfect and then I want it to kind of because it, the text is kind of fading here on this portion of it you can't see it I want to add I want to add in some uh, some effects to it so we're gonna do a text shadow and we're gonna make it black and we're gonna give it a very small offset not too much of an offset and we're gonna give it a vertical offset also just to kinda of make it stand out a little bit maybe about a 10 blur let's go with 5 let's do it that awesome so now that text is exactly where we want it we also want to do something with this I want this to be down more so right now it's not so we're going to tell this to not center we want middle so that's exactly where we want it now the text is more in the middle more in line with her so that's perfect we have our button we'll add in some text for the button we'll call this uh, let's see offer click here very generic button so we have all of this done so here's your pop-up it's all done but now we want to add in some little effects so we're gonna go in and we're gonna add in some animation for her which is in effects animate on scroll we're gonna give it animation type of sliding right yep we want her to kind of run we're gonna give it a we're gonna say just once and we're going to give it animation easing of linear which just makes it a little bit better go 750 and that should be good now this one we're gonna do the opposite rather than slide right we're gonna go in here we're gonna animate we're gonna go into effects enable animation we're gonna do slide left same thing we want an animation we want to do easing of linear and we only want it to animate once and 750 same thing with our button let's animate our button effect animate on scroll slide in left and animate once 
easing linear. Now the button's going to slide in a little bit quicker than the text, but that's okay. That's not really that big of a deal. This is just for to show you exactly what you can do with this. So don't get caught up in the fact that it's it doesn't look great because this doesn't look great. This is a not a great pop up. But I just wanted to show you what you can do with oxygen and just how this can work. So we can go in here and you can set uh, triggers for it. So we want to set when a user clicks an element and then we want to choose that element. We're going to, let's see, oh, obviously that's not going to work. All right, let's do this. because it will not let me. Let's save this real quick. Okay, we're gonna go back on the page. And, okay. So here's our modal. We're gonna go back on the page. We're gonna choose our selector again. This time we're gonna scroll down to the bottom. That's one of the problems with a live preview. It won't actually let you choose it if it's over it. I wanted this button to be chosen and I couldn't do that. So now I'm gonna click that button, now that button's linked, and so now this modal down at the bottom, which you won't see whenever we load the page, will actually pop up whenever you click it. And you can set some styles in here, you can set close automatically, close modal on backdrop, click, which we do want that to happen, and you can set up a couple of content styles, things like that. If you want text a certain color, background a certain color, those type of things. And they just have modal styles. So we can also choose the modal position. Where do I want her? I want her in the center of the screen. So perfect. We're gonna save this. We're gonna go into the front end. We're gonna look at this on the front end. Let's see what it does. We'll click our button and hopefully our modal comes up. And bam, there we go. So there's your modal. I hope this has helped you. I know that sometimes walking through stuff with people is a little bit more helpful than actually doing it on your own. So hopefully this kind of showed you what you can do with oxygen. Obviously this is a very bad example. It's a very quick example, but I just wanted to show you what you can do. Within a couple minutes you can have a pop-up that looks awesome. If you can imagine, think if this was, if you were selling a book or something on Amazon and you had the book busting out of the page here, those are the type of pop-ups that really get clicks. And when you're stuck into something that is just simply a box, it doesn't look as good. As a matter of fact, real quick, before I finish, I want to show you what it looks like if we go back to our negative margin um, and we put her back inside of the box. The pop-up just isn't going to pop as much as her when she's popping out of it. And that's one of the beauties of Oxygen is it allows you to do those type of things. While I know other builders out there allow it also, it's not like it's unique to any builder. Negative margin is something you can do with almost every builder that's out there. I'm just trying to show you the flexibility of what you can do with this page builder for those people who don't know about it. Not all page builders have pop-ups built into them. Oxygen is one that does it, Brizzy's another, and Elementor's another. So you need to take and you need to learn that program and learn the capabilities and what it can do because it can really help you later on to build something that just stands out way more than what your competition might have. And if that's what you're trying to do, then you want to make sure that's right. So let's look in here. Let's take back her margin and just show you. So you can see, she's just more on the page. It looks more normal, but we'll, we'll go click Save again. And from here, we're going to pop it up. Now, is it going to look horrible? No, it's not going to look horrible. I mean, she runs onto it, which I think is still pretty cool. I mean, that doesn't look bad, but there's something about her leg popping out of this onto this white space or just black space right now because it's, it's hidden. But there's something about her popping out of the image. That's very cool and it's very unique. And if you want to make your pop-ups stand out, that's definitely one way you can do it. So once again, it's Patrick from WP Builder Helper signing out with another tutorial. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week and see you next time.